Welcome to Honduras College of Nursing's virtual commencement for the spring 2020 graduates. Good afternoon, Honduras PN graduates. What a wonderful day to celebrate the accomplishment, the journey, and you. I am so proud of all the hard work and dedication you demonstrated to be here today as a candidate for graduation. I know the road wasn't easy, but you found strength to succeed. During these uncertain times, our world and our profession need you now more than ever to do what nobody else will do and in a way that nobody else can do it. In spite of all that you go through, this is what it means to be a nurse. I urge you to dream, believe, and become. Congratulations and welcome to one of the best professions on earth. Graduates of the associate degree program, I realize that this may not be the commencement you always dreamed of but this will be the career of your dreams. You are joining a profession that changes people's lives. Actually, this is a profession that changes the world. You have demonstrated perseverance, resilience, strength, and dedication in pursuit of your goals in the face of uncertainty and unrest in this unprecedented time in history. These are all qualities of a nurse, and you will use those skills for the rest of your life. I'm so proud of your accomplishments. I'm proud to call you Honduras College nursing graduates, but I'm even more proud to call you colleagues. Let me first welcome all our graduates, their guests, and the college faculty and staff to the first ever Hondros College of Nursing Fairborn Campus Virtual Commencement Ceremony. Many of you may remember that in new student orientation, I tell the class it is rare a year passes without obstacles that you have to overcome. How you adapt and navigate those obstacles will determine your success you will always remember your graduation. This term took place during the first pandemic in over 100 years. You had to navigate obstacles no student before experienced, yet you were still able to overcome, survive, advance, and achieve your goals. Obstacles aside, one thing students rarely consider is the friendships they will develop over the course of a year. Many of you have built lifelong friendships forged through the fires of nursing school. And when asked the question, why nursing? Students give different answers, but they all have the same common goal. Helping others and serving your communities. We realize what an inspiring group of special people you are and what great nurses you will be. Graduation marks a new chapter in your life's story let us celebrate your success and your accomplishments. Congratulations. Director of Nursing, Diana Taborn, will now announce this term's award winners. Thank you, Mr. Stiver. I am very honored at this time to represent the faculty of the Fairborn campus as we recognize the outstanding efforts of our students. Clinical achievement. This individual excels in clinical skills and reasoning and has an excellent bedside manner and is motivated to excel in nursing care. The student communicates well with others. He or she is caring and a patient advocate above all else. The student performs as a strong team player, works well with their peers and conducts themselves in a professional manner we would like to recognize this time for the PM program days, Jacob Wilder, Priscilla Bishop. For the evening program, Randy Pipemeyer. For the RN program, Ashley Sharon, the Nightingale Award. This individual has been an overall excellent student, both in the classroom and in clinical. The student has been a team player that has worked toward the good of the class and the school. 
He or she portrays professionalism in every aspect. This student exemplifies the essence of a Hondros nurse. At this time, we would like to recognize for the PM program days, Priscilla Bishop, evening, Andrea Van Zant, and for the RN program, Lakia Pulliam. Hondros Rising Star Award. This award is given to a student who demonstrates qualities of tenacity, persistence, and flexibility in the pursuit of a degree while tirelessly working to learn and take on the qualities essential to being a professional nurse. We would like to recognize for the PM program days, Jeanette Barrow. For the RM program, Hannah Heron. Simulation Award. Simulation is an educational process that replicates clinical practice in a safe environment. It is an instructional strategy that enhances patient safety and optimizes outcome while allowing students to practice critical thinking and clinical decision making while using mannequins in a controlled environment. The students can make mistakes, learn from them, and try again. While it is essential that all students are involved, sometimes there are students who excel in taking charge in scenarios and in participation. Therefore, this award is based on student excellence in participation in the laboratory simulation. This term, the following students are receiving the Excellence in Simulation Award. For the PM program days, Priscilla Bishop. For the evening program, Tiffany Lawson, the Scholarship Award. This award is for being an outstanding clinical nursing student and possessing the highest grade point average. We would like to recognize for the PM program days, Kaylin Franks. Evening, Andrea Van Zant, And for the RN program, Lakia Pulliam. From the faculty of the Fairborn campus, congratulations. Mr. Stiver will now present the candidates for graduation. Thanks, Diana. I'd now like to announce the candidates for graduation, starting with the PN program. Cassandra Sue Allen. Jeanette Estelle Barrow. Priscilla Lynn Bishop. Jasmine Marie Foster. Kaylin Ann Franks. Ricky Rochelle Harmon. Sharia Lachanette Ingram. Madison K. Lanning. Matthew Allen Lawson. Cynthia Gail Marconette. Abria Samisha McCarley. Randy Regan Pipemeyer. Chantel LaRose Rowan. Chelsea Elizabeth Shipley. Amanda K. Sierra. Madeline Lee Spears. Jessica Diane 
Stoutenboro. Andrea Lauren Van Zandt. Jacob Benjamin Wilder. And now our ADN candidates for graduation. Hannah Lynn Heron. Lakia Cherie Pulliam. Ashley Marie Sharon. On behalf of the entire Hondros College of Nursing Fairborn campus, congratulations. You are the newest Hondros College of Nursing graduates. Please join me in applauding your family and friends who have supported you through the journey to become a nurse. Hello and welcome to the Hondros College of Nursing Commencement 2020. My name is Anthony Hibbs. I'm the Campus Executive Director of the Independence Campus. I want to welcome you all to this virtual ceremony of your accomplishments, a day of celebration, turning the tassel, Nightingale Pledge, recognizing your accomplishments. This is a day to be cherished with yourself, your family, your loved ones, friends, and all those that could join you today near and far. It has definitely been some challenging times and challenging months, but today is a celebration and we forget all that and we understand why you're moving into the healthcare profession. Today, you celebrate your journey and the start of becoming a nurse. Whether you're already a nurse and moving into the RN or whether you're becoming a licensed practical nurse today, the future is yours. We appreciate you stepping up to the challenges and we celebrate you as heroes also as Hondros alumni. Congratulations, celebrate safe, but enjoy yourself in this unique time. Thank you. Hello everyone. The awards portion of the ceremony is the way in which faculty recognizes and honors our students. As many family and friends can attest, these students have worked hard and made sacrifices to reach this educational goal. The following awards will be presented. Nurse Scholar, this award is presented to the individual that has maintained the highest GPA throughout their nursing program. Nightingale, this award is presented to the individual that has shown overall excellence in both the lecture and clinical setting. Clinical Achievement, this award is presented to the individual that has excelled in the clinical area. Rising Star, this award is presented to the individual that has overcome obstacles to excel in the nursing program. From the Associate Degree in Nursing Program, Nightingale, Kimberly, Whitfield. Clinical Achievement, Brooke Vanks. Rising Star, Vanetta Jackson Ford. Nurse Scholar, Christian Rice. From the Practical Nursing Day Program, Nightingale, Lindsay Collins. Clinical Achievement, Heather Crombie. Rising Star, Heather Crombie. Nurse Scholar, Dariah Tamashina. In the Practical Nursing Evening Program, Nightingale, Rupin Preet Gill. Clinical Achievement, Devon Ryan. Nurse Scholar, Rupin Preet Gill. I just want to say congratulations to all of the graduates. I know that 2020 has been a very challenging year, but please do not lose sight of all of the goals you have reached. 
Now, Mr. Hibbs will present the graduates. Thank you, Ms. Knight. We will now turn to celebrating the practical nursing diplomas. Lanre Adamuwaya. Angela Azarello. Josiah Carrion. Lindsay Collins. Heather Crombie. Ashley Daniel. Eba Iraqi. Rupin Preet Gill. Janet Houston. J. Marie Jackson. Akia Johnson. Lachey Johnson. Ashley Lee. Vicki Marty. Pashela Matthews. Christian McCrary. Kimberly McKnight. Shari Parrish. Diamond Phillips. Cassidy Ray Ann Porter. Melanie Rivera. Devin Ryan. Asia Scott. Matthew Stevenson. James Tacky. Daria Tomashina. Kiera Walston. We will now be announcing the spring graduates for the associate degree in nursing program. Rosalyn Bell. Robin Brantley. Ashley Coleman. Jenny Couch. Vanetta Jackson Ford. Christian Rice. Brooke Vanks.
Kimberly Whitfield. We'd like to thank everyone from the Independence Campus, family, friends, graduates, all faculty and staff. It's been a tremendous day and celebration for you. Please enjoy, please have safe celebrations and welcome as Hondros Nursing alumni. Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Commencement Ceremony for Hondros College of Nursing. My name is Dr. Gregory Guzman, and I am the Campus Executive Director of the Maumee Campus. During your course of study with us, we have had the chance to get to know you, hear your stories, and why you chose to become a nurse. Though the stories may be each unique, they share the common thread of serving and calling. Each of you were truly meant to be nurses. I know this ceremony is not what you had in mind when you pictured your graduation from nursing school, but the perseverance you have shown during this unprecedented time has been nothing short of truly remarkable. We are so proud of all of you. Now, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the campus dean and director of our nursing program here at the Maumee campus, Dr. Deborah Matten. Thank you, Dr. Guzman, and hello, everyone. The award portion of the ceremony is the way in which the faculty recognizes and honors our students. As many family and friends can attest, you have all worked very hard and made many sacrifices to reach your educational goals. Our first recognition is the Nightingale Award. This honor is designated for overall excellence and a professional attitude academically and clinically, as well as being a team player and working toward the good of the class. This year awards go to Tiffany Thomas at the PN level and Fallon Carter Johnson at the ADN level. Next is the Clinical Achievement Award. This honor is given for consistent demonstration of clinical excellence, exemplary patient care, and for being a compassionate patient advocate. This year award goes to Rebecca Rambach at the PN level. And at the ADN level, the award goes to Beatrum Pride. Next is the Rising Star Award. And this award is given for demonstrating qualities of tenacity, persistence, and flexibility in a pursuit of a degree while tirelessly working to learn and take on the qualities essential of being a professional nurse. The awards go to Jessica George at the PN level and Stephanie Wright at the ADN level. And finally, we come to the Nurse Scholar Award these awards are given to students with the highest overall GPA in their respective programs, as determined and confirmed by the Office of the Registrar. The highest GPA at the PN level goes to Pamela McDaniel and Venus Thomas at the RN level. I want to say congratulations to all the graduates. I know that 2020 has been a challenging year. Do not lose sight of all your goals you have reached and serve our profession with courage and strength. Thank you. And now uh, Dr. Guzman will present the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Matten. And now for the graduates of our practical nursing program, Bethany Etz. John Gamara.
Jessica George. Summers Harper. Kamisha Harris. Tamara Horton. Tahija Jones. Pamela McDaniel. Julia Murray. Carolyn Peristilli. Kia Pence. Tanisha Rayford. Giovanna Richardson. Rebecca Rombach. Carrie Tizak. Tiffany Thomas. Nashanika Valentine. Alexis Brooks. Fallon Carter Johnson. Noreen Hazel. Shakara McCullough. Bertram Pride. Maarine Reyes Fenton. Venus Thomas. Stephanie Wright. As you begin the next steps in your journey, we wish you all the success and blessings that life has to offer. Congratulations. Good afternoon and welcome to the Westchester 2020 virtual commencement ceremony. Now I know this isn't the normal situations that we've experienced in the past, but your commitment to the nursing profession continues to thrive in this pandemic environment. I want to welcome you all to our commencement and very proud of all of your accomplishments thus far. Today we celebrate you, your accomplishments and all of your hard work and dedication to the healthcare profession. 
nurses have been at the forefront of this pandemic that we've all experienced and we're very proud of each and every one of you and what you've done so far. You have shared your heartfelt emotions with us throughout your tenure with us. Sleepless nights, long days, working, life, balance that you have all mastered to start your career in the nursing profession. Many, many nights of pot, pots of coffee, Red Bull, and we get it and we understand the challenges that you've experienced during your tenure at Hondros. Again, we're very proud of each and every one of you and your accomplishments, but today is not about me talking to you all. It's about you. Throughout this program, we're going to have various things that we will talk about in addressing the nursing profession and what it means to be a nurse, more so now than ever. I want to thank you all for attending. I look forward to hearing from you soon and the wonderful accomplishments to what it means to be a nurse. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Cindy. Again, congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Mr. Kramer. Now for the awards. The commencement ceremony is also a time to recognize those students who went above and beyond in demonstrating academic excellence, professionalism, integrity, and clinical aptitude. Students recognized today in each of the four nursing award categories have been selected by faculty and campus leadership. And believe me, this outstanding group of graduates made some of these decisions very challenging. It is my privilege to present the Nightingale Award. This award is given to an individual who is an excellent overall student, both clinically and academically, as well as a team player who works toward the good of the class and the school. Recipients of this award must portray professionalism in every aspect and must exemplify the essence of a Hondros nurse. The Nightingale Award for the Practical Nursing Day program goes to Haley Farmer. The Nightingale Award for the Associate Degree Nursing Program goes to Rachel Oder. The Clinical Achievement Award is presented to the individual who excels in clinical skills and reasoning, has an excellent bedside manner, and is motivated to excel in nursing care. Their communication is always professional, collegial, and respectful. This individual performs as a strong team player, is caring and compassionate, and above all, a patient advocate. The Clinical Achievement Award for the Practical Nursing Day program goes to Caitlin Schinkel. The Clinical Achievement Award for the Practical Nursing Evening program goes to Taylor Bird. The Clinical Achievement Award for the Associate Degree Nursing program goes to Amy Augeri. The next award is the Nurse Scholar Award, recognizing the student from each program who achieved the highest cumulative grade point average. This is no small accomplishment, given all these students must balance between school, work, and family obligations. This level of academic excellence requires commitment, sacrifice, and self-discipline. For the Practical Nursing Day program, I am pleased to announce the first award goes to cum laude graduate, Reniqua Whitehead. For the Practical Nursing Evening Program, I am pleased to announce the award goes to cum laude graduate, Anuri Gara. The final Nurse Scholar Award for the Associate Degree Nursing Program goes to summa cum laude graduate, Rachel Oder. Our final award, the Rising Star Award, goes to a student being recognized for demonstrating the qualities of tenacity, persistence, flexibility, and professionalism. Someone who demonstrated the ability to overcome challenges in pursuit of a degree while tirelessly working to learn and take on the qualities essential for being a professional nurse. 
The winner of the Rising Star Award from the Practical Nursing Day program is Alexis Yakimovich. The winner of the Rising Star Award from the Practical Nursing Evening program is Megan Fiscus. The winner of the Rising Star Award from the Associate Degree Nursing program is Adrian Scott. Please join me in congratulating all of our Nursing Award winners and let me extend my personal congratulations to all of our graduates on this outstanding achievement in pursuit of your nursing career. And now Mr. Kramer will present the graduates. Thank you, Cindy, and congratulations to all the award winners. Now will be the time to reading of our graduates, and we'll start with that licensed practical nursing program. Chad Bruce. Taylor Berg. Michaela Combs. Deanna Conley. Amanda Elliott. Rakita Everett. Kane EZ. Haley Farmer. Megan Fiscus. Ulorit Garara. Jalia Glover. Caitlin Howard. Sharonda Jackson. Amanda Nodal. Brittany Montel. Ebony Morgan. Soon Park. Felicia Pearson. Alfred Quahey. Asia Richardson. Ashton Ricks. Sydney Ross. Caitlin Schinkel. Adriana Smith. Roniqua Whitehead. Desiree Rents. Alexis Yakamovich. Congratulations to all the LPN graduates. And at this time, I will move forward with the reading of the names of our associate degree of nursing candidates for graduation. 
Amy Ajiri. Wendy Osterman. Askinas Coons. Bishnu Adari. Rachel Oder. Adrian Scott. Caitlin Witt. Irene Yeadham. Congratulations again, Westchester LPN and ADN graduates. Very proud of each and every one of you for your hard work and dedication to the nursing profession. I wish you all a happy and healthy 2020. Stay safe and continue to go out there and change lives just as you did for us being part of the Honors College family. Good luck. Welcome to the Westerville campus graduation for 2020. I know this is not exactly how you predicted things would be, but we are so happy to be able to offer this opportunity for you this afternoon. I would just want to share with you um, one of my most favorite memories that I always have of graduation is listening to the little voices that are always in the crowd. You have children that are proud of you, you have nieces and nephews that are proud of you, you have little siblings that are so proud of you. You've spent your whole life in the service of others, and now you've chosen a career of service, and we could not be more proud of you and more happy for you. So as you go through today, and you hear those little voices, know that they are celebrating you, and for once, you're getting all the recognition because you have devoted so much time to making sure they get all the recognition. Today is your day. That is what I always tell all of our grads. Enjoy your day and I wish you all the best in your future. And if you ever need anything, please make sure you come and see us. We are always here for you and we are Hondro Strong. Now I'd like to introduce our senior campus manager, Jamie Rarden. During your course of study with us, we've had the chance to get to know you, hear your stories, and become inspired ourselves as to why you want to be a nurse. Many of you chose the nursing field because you wanted to help your friends and family and be there for others in your community. Nursing is truly your calling. As we look back over the reasons that brought you to Hondros College of Nursing, we feel your heartfelt emotions and genuine commitment to make a difference. We realize what an inspiring group of special people you are and what great nurses you will be. I know this ceremony is not what you had in mind when you pictured your graduation from nursing school, but the perseverance you've shown during this unprecedented time has been nothing short of remarkable. We are so proud of all of you. Now I would like to introduce the campus dean for the Westerville campus, Dr. Carol Sullivan. Thank you, Jamie. Hello graduates, family and friends. The awards portion of the ceremony is the way in which the faculty recognizes and honors our students. As many families and friends can attest, these students have worked very hard and made sacrifices to reach this educational goal. The following awards will be presented. The Nightingale Award. This honor is designated for overall excellence and a professional attitude academically and clinically, as well as being a team player and working toward the good of the class. Melissa Hine. 
For the day cohort, Anna Simon. For the evening cohort, Diana Edmondson. The Clinical Achievement Award. This honor is given for consistent demonstration of clinical excellence, exemplary patient care, and for being a compassionate patient advocate. Heather Lawless. The day cohort, Ashley Green. Evening cohort, Taylor Tincher. The Rising Star Award. This award is given for demonstrating qualities of tenacity, persistence, and flexibility in pursuit of a degree while tirelessly working to learn and take on the qualities essential to being a professional nurse. Tanisha Ragland. For the evening cohort, Martha Brown. For the day cohort, Don Zolo. Nurse Scholar Award. This award is given to the students with the highest overall class GPA in their respective programs as determined and confirmed by the Office of the Registrar. The highest GPA at the PN level goes to Sandra Gayamfi and Melissa Hein. For the day cohort, Ashley Green. For the evening cohort, Martha Brown. I just want to say congratulations to all of the graduates. I know that 2020 has been a challenging year and I want to leave you with a positive note. The American Nurses Association has declared 2020 the year of the nurse. For the past 20 years, nurses have been recognized as the most trusted profession. We welcome you to the profession of nursing. Congratulations. Now Jamie Reardon will present the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Sullivan. And now for the presentation of the graduates for the Licensed Practical Nursing Program. Kosi Agodzro, Asmara Agimang Dabri, James Awaya, Ashley Bailey. Jennifer Bass, Ryan Blair, Kristen Boland, Katrina Barak. Kristen Burkhart, Lakeisha Crum, Kelsey Damrose, Sandra Giamfi. Alicia Hansen, Krista Hazlitt, Melissa Hine, Anika Jean Baptiste. Saeed Kamara, Margie Keener, Heather Lawless, Montana Morris. Tanisha Raglan, Cynthia Sarpong,
Mantina Silla. Thad Leith. Brooke Wright. Martha Brown. Gian Chamliege. Diana Edmondson. Sarah Ann Figueroa. Ashley Green Anna Simon Taylor Tincher Dawn Zolo I'm excited to see what the future holds for each of you. Let us celebrate your success and your accomplishments. Congratulations, Westerville graduates. Would the candidates for the practical nursing program please rise? Now by virtue of the authority vested by Honduras College of Nursing, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Would the candidates for the associate degree in nursing program please rise? Now by the virtue of the authority vested by Honduras College of Nursing, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Graduates, please remain standing as it is now time to recite the Nightingale Pledge. We also invite all nurses watching to join Dr. Lawson and I. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest of standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in his work and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill, wherever they may be and wherever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. Graduates, please rise. It is now time to take place in the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel symbolizes your transition from candidate to graduate. Please move your tassel from the right side to the left.
Congratulations to the newest graduates of Honduras College of Nursing. This is a huge accomplishment and truly speaks to your resilience, determination, and desire to make a difference. You are now part of one of the greatest service professions in the world. Be the change in our profession that the world needs. You will always be part of our Honduras family and we will always be here to support you. Go out and be great and celebrate this wonderful accomplishment. Thank you for being part of our virtual commencement.